Hey guys, in this video we'll be seeing how to create Google Forms. Now there are three to four ways by which you can create Google Forms. First you have to open up your browser and that's so simple, everybody knows it, right? So you have to open your browser and then there are three ways by which you can create your Google Form. First is by just typing in a Google search, Google Forms. So when you type this, Google Forms, you will see one option called as Google Forms sign in. So, particularly, this is a documentation section wherein you will find Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms, and everything related to the administration work. Right? So, you will find these things in uh, this administration forms that is Google Forms. The second way by which you can get into Google Forms is uh, go back to your home screen, right? Uh, you have to go back to your home screen. Otherwise, you can uh, find this option right over here, this dotted option, right? This uh, this matrix, 3 by 3 matrix of the dots. You have to click this thing and here you will find Google Forms option. If you cannot see it from here, you can click more from Google or just type in the google search google forms so i guess there is no option over here yes there is no google form over here so uh, from this section you can also access google forms and the third way is by going into your drive so i'll be logging into my drive now google drive uh, so this is my google drive okay so here on the home screen in my drive section, I'll be doing a right click. And now this will enable some options. So the last option which you will see is of Google Forms. From here also you can go to the Google Forms section where you can create forms. Now Google Forms are especially useful for MCQ tests or assessment or any other particular thing where you provide options for the user in order to mark some answers or in order to choose some options so particularly now going into the google forms i'll be going from here uh, make sure you watch this complete video i will not skip any of the section in this video it will be a detailed video and uh, this video might be a long duration video so google drive trash is changing starting on okay dismiss no thanks so this is the rough google form okay now here at the top left corner you have the forms icon besides it there is written untitled form now here from here you can click on this untitled form and give this form a name a specific name which you want to give let's say for example uh, customer satisfaction okay so this is the title of your google form okay so from here also you can edit the title and from here also you can edit the title of the form and after giving a, a title, a specific title to your Google form, you then have to give this form a description in order to so that customers or any person, any audience which who will be seeing this form gets an idea what this form is about. Okay, so this is the description section and here you can just uh, type it in like this is a customer satisfaction satisfaction survey form which is made by so and so xyz company in order to uh, in order to uh, you can say study the customer satisfaction regarding a particular product let's say for example any product you can say okay for a particular product and by giving 
enters you can mention your details like phone number email id address and whatnot you can think you can mention anything right in the description section this will help the audience or the user to understand what this form is about okay so this is that thing so this is the description section okay we have seen two sections first is the title second is the description now we will move towards the question how we can create a questionnaire so under that you will find another dialog box uh, wherein it is saying that untitled question okay it is saying untitled question and below it you will find a check box or you can say an option which is which can be uh, clicked by the user or the audience in order to answer a specific question now here after giving a click on that dialog box you will enter into the edit mode of that question box okay so here now i'll be entering a, a question okay uh, let's say for example what do uh, you prefer to buy from our shop okay here you can also edit the options let's say for example in the first option uh, just randomly i will give a product name which is one the product is one okay uh, now i'm adding this other option okay so here two add option three and likewise okay you can also edit this uh, two and three as per your preferences okay so i'll be keeping this thing up to three options only okay this is a multiple type uh, multiple choice question type okay there are different types of questions which you can add into a google form so this is mcq that is multiple choice question type okay now at the bottom at the bottom section you will find that uh, duplicate this question let's not go into that uh, we don't need what is duplicate okay you can also delete this entire question when you will click this option this entire question will be deleted okay particularly this question only uh, besides it you have a required section now if you switch on this required section and uh, and when you will uh, when when customer uh, uses this questionnaire to fill they will see an asterisk mark in the question itself a red mark a red star mark commonly called as okay so they will see the star mark a red star mark and that section will be important to fill without filling that section or uh, that question you cannot proceed further this is the meaning of this required section now besides it you have three dots okay here you will find three options first is description second is go to section based go to the section based on answer and three shuffle option order okay let's see what it is so here when i clicked on the description section you can see that a description section has been added to the question okay a description section has been added to the question here you can just give the description of this particular question for the audience to understand what is what is this question about okay so there's no need particularly now so i'll be unchecking the description section after that go to section based on answer uh, this is sections when you want to just uh, make available one particular question on each slide on each page then this option is used okay here you can um, choose option from continue to the next section go to the section one that is customer satisfaction in this particular form or you can just submit a form from here now shuffle option order is something which will sh which will shuffle these options the answer options first second and third this will shuffle each and every time when another customer will open this google form particular form okay uh, for example i am opening this form for the first time the sequence of this option will be something else and if some other customer is opening this form the sequence for him will be some other thing okay so this is shuffle option order so now you have understood how to give options right 
for the MCQ type of question and the related fields. So now at the right hand side you will find again one more dialog box which says add question. This particular question is over. Okay. I will be adding another question now. The second option says that import questions. Now if you have already created another form, you can import questions from there directly. Okay. If you have the format ready with you, that is question and options. If this format is ready, you can directly import those questions uh, by clicking this option. Okay. Let's see what it is. See, these are previously created forms. Now, uh, if you have already created some forms regarding, uh, sorry, if you have already created question is, you can directly import from here by selecting the file. This is your drive section actually. Okay. And uh, the third option is add title and description. Let's do this. So uh, here's one another thing. Now, if you wish to make particular section, right, uh, to to differentiate something above this section is something else and below this section will be something else. Now, if you want to differentiate in this way, then you can uh, add the text and description option. Here you can edit the title. Let's say, for example, um, add any title. Okay. I'm adding it A, B, C. Okay. And the description is, hi, how are you? Okay, this is the description. Okay, now after this, I'll be adding a question, or you can say another text, or uh, this add title and description. Now this option is over. Okay, after that you have the option of add image. Now if you want to add some specific images in your uh, Google Form, then you can select this option and select the particular image. Let's see how it works. So here the dialog box opens, right? Uh, it will suggest me some images. Uh, let's say for example, um, uploading this picture, okay? I have already saved this picture in my drive, Google Drive, and I'm, I have selected this image and I'm inserting it, okay? So here, now, see? I have added the image okay this is the HP mouse the video the user review video I have made for this product you can go to my video section and watch if you want if you wish to watch okay so this is this is the image how you add the image into the questionnaire you can also give title to this image from here let's say for example uh, comfort mouse okay comfort mouse so this is the image how you add the image after that you have the option for adding a video also okay so earlier we we saw that how to add image similarly by clicking this option you can also add a video now i'll be skipping this step you can directly add uh, the video just like the previous step how we added how we added the image right so it is that thing and then after uh, the last uh, last option you will find the option of add section now, if you click this option then uh, see uh, there are two sections okay now uh, when you click this option there will be sections of your Google form means the already those things which you have which we have performed in the first section will be at the topmost position right the first question that is what do you prefer to buy from a shop the some text description some boxes which have some titles and description another one was that uh, image section uh, after that was video and after these things I had clicked this add section button now it will uh, differentiate the above section and the next section the above section is section 1 and the, after clicking that option section 2 will be observed on your screen so this is section two okay here you can also give title to your section means what this section is about let's say for example uh, mm, frequency of your purchase okay here uh, giving the description here we would 
like to study that how many times you buy this particular product from our shop okay so this is the section number two now here we can add another question see this option add question option import questions add title and description add image add video and add section okay so similarly you can uh, repeat the uh, steps to add questions and and other things okay now there are types of questions okay there are types of questions so in this section 2 this particular thing we will see what are those types of questions i am intentionally uh, making this filming this uh, add question section at the end of all these options because uh, there are various reasons uh, it, it is it is a lengthy procedure that's why i have i am taking it at the end okay so this is this is the ending part so here we will click the add a question button and here you will find the question has been uh, placed by the google form here you can add your question okay and you can give the options now here at the at the, at the in the first section we have seen that it was multiple choice question now, if you click this drop down button then you will find various types of questions see see these are various types of features google forms provide you okay so here at the bottom okay uh, we'll be selecting short answer type of question okay so i, I have selected this format and my question is uh, could you please tell us that which product do you purchase frequently okay so this is the question and here is the uh, space for the customer to answer or the audience to answer so by clicking in this section when the form is created by clicking on this section by the user he can enter some data which is the type of short answer okay so this is the short answer question i am again uh, making another question okay i am clicking this plus button because I, uh, I i want to show another type of question to you here we have also paragraph type of question paragraph type of question okay so here i would like to uh, say that describe your uh, describe your experience after purchasing this particular product okay so customer will describe his experience it might be short or it might be also long okay but for uh, but for our help we will uh, convert this question into a long answer question okay so that for, for that is the reason i have selected long answer text okay i'm creating another question which will be check boxes type of question okay here a user or the audience can check multiple boxes okay uh, let's say for example uh, uh, we will make this question like this what other what other products do you buy from our shop okay now here in the option one let's say milk another option will be uh, biscuits another will be tea powder okay these are fmcg products okay tea powder after that uh, let's say for example chocolates okay chocolates i guess the spelling is right after that uh, let's say for example uh, detergent powder okay detergent powder okay so these many other options now a customer has a choice to select multiple answers if a if a customer is buying multiple things from your shop 
Uh, let's say for example milk biscuits and tea powder these three things he is purchasing from your shop then he will click on this check boxes and answer this question okay he can select multiple answers in this type of question another question another question type is uh, drop down okay here you will provide some options some predetermined options for the uh, audience or user of this questionnaire okay so here we will frame one such question which will have options okay let's say for example uh, at what time do you prefer to visit our store okay so i'll be uh, giving here um, some options uh, uh, these are random options okay from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Second option will be um, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Third option will be uh, from 6 p.m. to let's say 10 p.m. Okay. So these are three options. Okay now here user or the audience who is viewing this questionnaire will get a chance to select from a drop down list these one two and three will be in the drop down list these options will be in the drop down list the user or the customer or the audience will select a particular answer from this drop down list okay so this is drop down type of question another type of question is uh, file upload okay now see let respondents upload files to drive okay files will be uploaded to the forms owners google drive respondents will be required to sign in to google when file upload questions are added to a form make sure to only share this form with people you trust now this is something important okay this is a crucial part of um, uh, the type of the question this type of question is the most important because your know, what happens when you give this form to some user and if you have this type of question in your questionnaire and if he wants to up upload some file some kind of file and there's questionnaire so this type of questionnaire should be shared only with those persons whom you trust okay whom you trust the first the first uh, the first line says that file will be uploaded to the form owner's google drive means if he adds some kind of file let's say for example a pdf file if he adds the uh, if he if he adds the pdf file into this option that pdf file will be saved in his google drive okay not yours you are the creator of this form right he is the user of that form or he is the audience for that form so if we upload some kind of file <clears throat> some kind of file then that file will be stored into his google drive account okay the second uh, the second sentence says that respondents will be required to sign in to google when file upload questions are added to a form now if you add this type this particular type of question so the respondents means the user or the audience who are responding to this questionnaire they will be required to sign into their google account in order to fill this type of question okay so this is the meaning of that uh, clicking continue and uh, okay now here you have uh, the question okay means some predetermined question let's say for example you can upload your mm, let's say uh, uh, you can upload your purchasing list in this section okay so customer will upload his purchasing list in this section now here you have the option allow only specific file types okay if you enable this option then some types some file types will be seen over here it will be a document dot d o c x is the ex ex extension for the uh, document file spreadsheet dot x l s x 
is the uh, extension for Excel Excel files or you can say spreadsheet files PDF files this is the common file type printable document format PDF file a video file a customer uh, or the respondent can also add a video next is presentation dot pptx file okay next is drawing drawing is a uh, some feature provided by the google okay you can uh, just type in the google search uh, google drawing then it will take you to uh, another website which has the uh, features for drawing for making your own uh, productions okay drawing type of file then after that image you can also upload also you can upload the audio type of file okay so here i'll be uh, just for uh, just uh, mm, just for my sake i'll be up, i'll be uh, checking in the spreadsheet type of file you can also select multiple okay see you can also select multiple okay uh, uh, spreadsheet means the excel files only are acceptable okay so maximum number of files here you also have the range how many files a, a respondent can add so here is one five and ten okay i'll be selecting one and the maximum file size here you can allow is of 1 mb 10 mb 100 mb 1 gb and 10 gb for my at this instant i'll be selecting 10 mb okay 10 mb is actually too much i'll be selecting it 1 mb okay so this is particular uh, file upload type of question this form can accept up to 1 gb of files okay so this is all the also the provision made by the google forms for this particular type of question okay after that another question type is linear scale this is linear scale okay now this is actually the rating scale you can say in your common language rating scale or you can say if you want to rate some uh, we will we will understand this thing by typing in a question saying that how will you rate our product milk okay so here you have the range here you can select zero or one and the highest is you can extend this scale up to 10 uh, 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 but for easiness okay for ease we will select only five at the first instant uh, i mean what will be the uh, what will be the option what will be the label for that first point okay it will be uh, worst let's say worst and the five will be the highest that is the best okay so uh, this linear tail uh, linear scale type of question is framed in this way okay after that we will see another type of question and that is the multiple choice grid okay now in this question there there is a specific grid or you can say matrix from which the user or the respondent can select answer specific answer for a row as well as columns okay so here i'll be adding a question called as um, uh, how will you rate our product <coughs> milk okay so this is the so this is the question and uh, the type of the question is multiple choice grid okay so how will you rate our product milk so first row here we will give a feature for rating that feature of the product will be uh, let's say quality quality and the columns will be mm, uh is it uh, worst we will keep uh less options okay just to understand worst then second will be <coughs> good better and last is best okay so these are four types okay these are four columns first good better and best and these are rows which defines the features of the product or you can say uh, specifications first is quality second will be uh, taste third will be 
uh, third what you can put it in uh, availability availability cannot be directly compared to these worst good better or best for but this is just for example right now i'm not able to catch up what we can add into the features of the product uh, so for this reason i am giving availability as one of the feature <coughs> availability i guess the spelling is right availability fourth is uh, let's say um, cost okay this is just a random question okay so for that reason i am adding anything into the rows and columns okay so this is just random in this way you can frame the multiple choice grid type of question now in other question i mean the other type of question is uh, is the checkbox grid okay this is the checkbox grid type of question it is similar to the above question that is how will you rate our product milk but in checkbox you can check multiple boxes you can check multiple answers but in this section you have to just select one option as your answer for quality for test for availability and for cost you can select only one answer okay in this type that is checkbox grid you can select multiple answers okay we can frame this question in such a way that you will get various uh, distributed data from the customer okay <clears throat> Uh, framing this question in such a way uh, what will you purchase according to some features of our shop okay what will you purchase according to some distinctive features distinctive features of our shop okay this is the type of question and in row you can mention quality <coughs> taste availability and uh, cost okay and in column you can add mm, uh, milk biscuits then detergent soap okay these are four types of products okay so this is the checkbox grid type of question now <clears throat> in order to view this how will these questions will be appeared to the respondents we will uh, we will click this preview option from here let's see how it looks okay so here you will find a grid a matrix grid wherein you can select answers how will you rate our product milk in terms of quality it is good in terms of test it is better in terms of availability it is uh, you can say good and in terms of cost it is okay worst worst means in the sense it is very costly this type of milk is very costly and uh, other things are likewise here you can see the chart okay right now in the next type of question uh, which uh, we have seen the checkbox grid type of question right what will you purchase what will you purchase according to some distinctive features of a shop these are some distinctive features quality test availability and cost now how will you uh, now uh, according to these features which type of products you will uh, prefer to purchase from our shop so in terms of quality i'll be purchasing milk biscuits and soap okay in terms of taste i'll be again purchasing biscuits and milk these other two things are not the products to be tested okay so in this thing i'll be only checking two boxes in terms of availability 
everything i can check right in terms of cost uh, detergent and biscuits okay so this is the checkbox grid type of question okay i hope you understood closing this okay leave the page okay another type is of date okay now uh, here uh, let's say for example creating question of date is uh last time when you visited our shop okay this is the question okay so here you give the customer a provision to select the day month and year that is a date format right where a uh, day is there month is there and year is there specifically he will answer in that format a calendar or calendar will be shown at uh, the user's end and he will select particular date okay this is that type of question moving further the last type of question is time now here uh, 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 continuing the before question only at what time did you had this visit okay so he will uh, enter the time over here uh, a clock type of something uh, will be seen at the users and he will select a particular time from that uh, option okay so this is the time type of question okay so these are the types of question okay i have uh, again summarizing the video okay at the first instant you have title of the form title then after that you have description then after that you have questions now that there are different types of questions i have uh, already uh, explained you how many types of questions are there okay after that you have the right box over here uh, sorry at the right hand side you have a box over here in which you will find options like add question input question add title and description add image add video and add section okay you can add n number of sections in a google form okay after that once your form is created and um, if you want to just decorate this form you can uh, you can see this upper portion here you have customized the theme you can customize the background theme of this google form see the color is changing theme color okay uh, font style is also there basic see you can uh, select from these four types of fonts okay the background color is also there this is the theme color this is the background color okay you can uh, choose header image now in this section that is this customer this title section and description section if you want to add an image then you can uh, do it from this section header section choose image you will select a particular file from your computer or directly from your drive google drive okay you can add that by doing this uh, by selecting this option choose image okay so here you will uh, finish your decoration of your google form after that you have the preview button how this questionnaire will be seen by the user or by the respondent okay so this is how the question at his end will appear to him okay he will select the answers right by checking in these boxes okay uh, this is another section where he will find some description uh, in this section he will find an image of the mouse or any product which he has uploaded the creator of the form has uploaded okay so there are two uh, two sections i had created two sections right so i'll be clicking on the next button in order to view the second section here you will find the second section the section title is frequency of your purchase and some description could you please tell us uh, the first question and these are types of questions i had explained you right see i had told you at what time did you uh, had this visit here you can select the time am pm right uh, the last time when you visited month day and year questions right how will you rate the product milk so one is worst five is best and likewise here you will you can you are able to upload some kind of file right at what time do you prefer to visit our store here you can choose uh, the drop down kind of questions right here from this option 
from these options you can choose any particular option right what other products do you uh, buy from our shop these are the check check boxes type of questions after that long long description question short description question and likewise okay so this is how you create your google form okay now uh, uh, this uh, this settings option i for, i forgot to tell you this when you click this uh, settings section here you will find three subsections in this settings general presentation and quizzes okay under general section when you check this thing collect email addresses when you check this thing, uh, this thing the user the respondent will have to sign in with his google account in order to fill this questionnaire okay in this way you can collect the email addresses of the respondents now this option the response receipts is if you check this thing okay uh, and the user or the respondent after completion of his uh, uh, this form filling he will get an option where he can uh, receive the receipt what he has entered the data into the form he will see this form at his end uh, he will receive an email of this form the the filled form by him okay he will receive that sample okay if respondent requested okay there's also sub option if respondent requested or always okay after that you have another thing requires sign in okay now here the respondent will require a sign in with his email id okay if you check this thing okay he will require a sign in after that only he will be able to uh, fill this form the other thing respondents can edit after submit means uh, he can also edit with the link provided of this form he can edit what uh, what he has filled what he has filled the data in this form he can see the summary charts now this thing uh, you if you enable this thing he will he will be able to see the responses which are received from other respondents now if you enable this option all of the data of all of the customers will be seen to everyone it will be available publicly uh, you should keep this uh, you should uncheck this every time because this is data right you cannot play with anyone's data okay see summary charts and text responses after that you have maximum sizes of or uh, maximum size of all files uploaded okay here you can select the sizes right so this is the general section after that presentation section here you can uh, give a progress bar in your google form wherein the user the respondent will see how much questionnaire he has filled right if he uh, if the questionnaire consists of 10 questions and if he has uh, if he has entered the data up to 5 questions then he will see the progress bar as 50% okay uh, the other option is shuffle question order the thing which i had told uh, which i told you earlier you can shuffle the questions order right after that show link to submit another response here confirmation message is also given now i don't know why this is why this cannot be enabled i guess when you make this as a quiz then it will be enabled oh that is not uh, by the way i uh, i currently don't know how this works show link to submit another response okay so here after uh, recording your response i mean when the user submits his form after filling the data he will receive a particular kind of message and what that message will be you have to type it in here okay the other section is quizzes now if you want to make this questionnaire as a quiz then you have to enable this option okay assign point values you can also provide marks uh, at the right hand uh, at the right hand portion of each question okay assign point values to questions and allow auto grading okay uh, means uh, if you want to assess or if you want to create a test for students then uh, let's say for example you have 10 questions okay each question carries two marks okay so in all 10 questions will be of 20 marks right now if the answers are correct then marks will be assigned automatically okay so this is the so this is that option 
After that, you have release grade immediately after each submission, later after manual review. Okay, so this is the reports, or you can say uh, the results after completion of the quiz. You can enable this from here. After that, you have respondent can see missed questions. If any of the questions is missed by them uh, unknowingly, they can see how many questions they have missed. For correct answers, you can also give them this option. Correct answers will be marked and point values, right? So these are the in-depth. This is the in-depth video of how to create your Google Forms. I hope I have covered each and everything of Google Forms each and every things of Google Forms which I wanted to share with you. Okay, so there's three more dots over here and you can undo this form. You can make a copy of this form. You can move this form to the trash. That means delete this form. Get brief field link. Okay, you can also print this form. Add collaborators means uh, multiple, multiple people can uh, make changes to this Google Form. Okay, you can also script editor you can also edit this if, if, if you have knowledge of coding and all you can do this thing from script editor okay uh, some add-on add-ons are there and some preferences are there okay so basically i had covered i have covered i guess i have covered each and everything of how to make google forms now our entire questionnaire is created now uh, once your questionnaire is created you are expected to share this questionnaire with your customers right with the audience with the users with the respondents whatever you call it okay you want to share this form in order to be filled by the audience by the respondents so how will you do that you will find a option called send over here at the top right corner click on this send button and at the first instant you will find the option of collect email addresses if you check this then the user the respondent uh, has to give his email address in order to submit this form okay in order to fill in this form it is actually at the time of signing in if he signs in with his email id then only he will be able to fill this particular form okay now the second option is send via this is message this is a link for the questionnaire you can also shorten this link by clicking this option you can give this short link to your customer okay and you can also what is this this is embed HTML okay um, coming back to uh, to the uh, message section here you can email to some particular customer okay otherwise if it's publicly available you can just share by giving the link of this form to the customers but if you want to send in some particular some uh, to, a, to a particular person then you can enter his email id over here and this this questionnaire will be mailed to that customer or the person so so for emailing that you need a subject right so the subject here is customer satisfaction and message i have invited you to fill out this form he will receive the message and he will see this message okay you can also add collaborators uh, other other people who can also contribute to this form but now uh, there's no need i guess so we'll cancel this thing okay this is how you send a form okay if you if you are having any questions you can ask me in the comment section i'll be happy to answer your questions uh thanks for watching and have a nice day